Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencast Online tip video. A couple of weeks ago, I covered some useful features in Apple Notes that makes it my go-to app for keeping track of bits of information, lists, web links, and much more. In this week's tip video, I want to revisit Notes to expand further on how you can make it even more useful. In the first Apple Notes tip video, we took a look at emojis, we took a look at folders, and we also took a look at using uh, sort of pseudo tags. So this is the standard view, this is the list view, and is usually the view that's turned on by default. You have your folders across over here on the left hand side, a list of your various notes, and these will change depending on which folder you select. Let's go back up to the uh, total number of notes. Uh, you can remove the folders if you want, you can go to view and you can hide the folders, or you can hide the note count as well. But I'm just going to leave that uh, displayed. There are various ways to sort your notes. The default sort order is controlled within preferences. So if we go to preferences, you'll see here that sort notes by date edited. So that's the default, but you can change the sort order uh, on a folder by folder basis. Now I'm not particularly fussed on the default sort order. Uh, I don't really like if I go down here and then edit this note, so it jumps up to the top. Now, some people might prefer that because all the most recently edited notes are at the top of your list, but I much prefer to change the sort order. If you go to view, sort folder by, and say date created, that will uh, change this by the date created. Whereas if I go back to the home related, you'll see this is still sorted by edit. So that one has popped up to the top. So dependent on the content of the particular folder, you can change the sort order to match your own preferences. Let's go back to notes. Another way to make this view more useful, and you'll see here that there are some thumbnail images on some of the notes, but not all of them, uh, is to add custom images to the notes. So for instance, if I had a number of notes in here that related to Screencast Online, and I wanted to display the Screencast Online logo within each note, all I would do is select the note. Let's go up here, so to about the second line. If I go to Photos, and then I have an album here called Logos, and in there, yep, we've got the SEO logo in a square format. If I just drop that in. Right, so we've now got this huge image here. Uh, we've got a little thumbnail in our list, but we've got this huge image, which I don't really want. I can right click on the image and just say View as Small Images, so it becomes a bit more discreet. And now I can do that for any other notes that are connected with Screencast Online. And I can see instantly just by scanning the thumbnails, which ones are Screencast Online related. Let me just do the same to this one here. I'll just pop it in here, say. Again, photos. I already have the photo launcher opened. I can just drag this across, drop it in and save you as small images. So now I can see instantly that this one is related to Screencast Online and also this one. Now you could color code them, uh, you can put relevant images in each note. It's just an easy way to give you some visual clues as to what's contained within the notes. Let's go ahead and close down photos. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.